With regard to protection against uh, all of this malware that we have been talking about, um, what do you do about it? Well, um, actually, uh, the technology, you know, technology is fine and there are tools that you can use and that sort of thing, but policies are your best protection, really. Um, and, and particularly, educating users about the policies and about the risks of, of malware. Where are you most likely to encounter uh, malware? Um, how? And I, I mean, this... Oh, it goes right back to the beginning of uh, computer viruses uh, and, and the research. Um, I, way back in the old days, uh, people would say, you know, oh, don't use shareware. Shareware is dangerous. Well, um, shareware was not particularly dangerous. I mean, yes, there were uh, uh, pieces of shareware that, that would be... Uh, infected and and then deliberately posted to bulletin boards, but that that was fairly rare. And in any case, the most prevalent uh, classes of computer viruses um, back in in the early days were the boot sector infectors. And boot sector infectors did not infect programs. You didn't get them from. Uh, bulletin boards. You didn't get them from shareware. It just, you know, it didn't happen. That wasn't the way that they spread. They spread by uh, disks. And uh, so people, uh, you know, swapping disks, maybe, you know, sharing programs, that happened. But, you know, relatively infrequently, most of the time, people were swapping floppies in, in terms of uh, uh, data. And, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, the uh, uh, telling people to avoid shareware only prevented them from getting the most effective antivirus tools in those days, which were, in fact, shareware. So, uh, you know, have, have decent policies. Know the, uh, the status. Know... Uh, you know what it is that you're fighting against and, and what is is going to protect against it um, now when you have anti-malware tools technologies programs check that they are in fact effective um, one of the uh, uh, one of the aspects when, when you're just looking at pure uh, virus, uh, protection, which is, uh, as I was explaining to somebody today, uh, unusual in these days where most uh, antivirus protection is anti-malware protection, is anti-spam protection, is anti-drive-by download protection. You know, it's all bundled together in the same packages these days. But um, when people are are uh, running these programs, and, and this is this is happening now. You know the program runs, and it runs in the background. It's you know it's resident. It it is checking all the time. It is uh, you know so you don't have to pay attention to it. Well, when you are running something in the background, you are trying to reduce the processing load on the system, and so you're going to take shortcuts. And every time you take shortcuts, uh, you know, optimization is, is a source of so many ills. Um, and so run full-scale manual scans occasionally to check whether your resident scanning system is in fact working, is, is effective, you know, or are things getting by it. Um, so, you know, Check the operation of the anti-malware system. Have uh, a, a means of uh, remediation and detection. Uh, again, you know, this comes back to our our metrics and uh, measures, our, our assurance requirements. 
uh, as well as the, the functional sec security requirements. So, um, it, disinfection is not always possible. So, uh, again, um, you know, disinfection of a system is, is the preferred method because that doesn't means you don't have to completely wipe out that system, reinstall it, try and get back uh, the configuration that it had before and, and other uh, aspects like that. But, you know, sometimes uh, that's what you have to do. Uh, you know, you, you cannot always disinfect uh, systems and, and um, you know, make sure that you know whether or not this is something that can be cleaned out and cleaned out effectively. Um, the, the most uh, effective means, of course, is, is to delete whatever infective, infected item is present and, and then replace it from a clean either backup or uh, the original source, whatever uh, it may be. Um, when you're doing um, activity monitoring, uh, especially when you're dealing with uh, communications, um, do uh, egress scanning. You know, don't just watch for bad things coming into your system. Uh, check and see if you are sending out bad things, which means that, you know, you've got an infection somewhere hidden in the system or, or not found, at least, in, in the system. Uh, so, you know, that checks, again, whether or not your existing protections are uh, effective. Um, so, you know, check for uh, all the standard things. Check for open ports. Check for outgoing mail. Uh, do your egress scanning. Check some systems. And, um, uh, well, you know, check some parity checks, um, uh, digital signatures, whatever it may be, to, you know, whatever level you want to take it to, to determine that something has not changed, that, that should not be changed. Uh, and again, as I say, Unfortunately, these days, uh, very often the um, developers, uh, vendors are changing everything uh, for purposes and reasons of their own, for their own convenience, and, and not for your safety, particularly. So uh, be cautious of those situations. And good luck. But study, okay?